Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing really well and I hope you've all had a lovely September. I don't believe this year, I mean we're nearly the end of September, this year has flown by so quickly um, and I don't believe Adam's nearly going to be too, oh my god, time has just flown by. Um, but I'm really excited for the next couple months because I'm still working on this really cool secret project and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So it's just been a crazy and exciting uh, few months. But anyway, getting into this video, today's video is a makeover for a nursery. It's a nursery for a beautiful girl, Orla. She is the most adorable little girl ever. Um, so her parents have just moved to a new house and they're doing up a lot in their house and Orla's room was one of the projects they wanted to do. So when the mom asked me if I can help her um, or do a makeover, I was like absolutely. Orla is 19 months so it's very similar to Adam's age and they're, she's just in that age where you know she's starting to play more imaginatively and so they're playing more um, you know kind of kids play rather than baby play. Um, so the, her parents really wanted to create a really beautiful and fun environment for her in her room and that's what we've done. I absolutely love the way this room turned out. It, it is just so beautiful and very like, it's very fun, has lo loads of different areas that she can like play with. Yeah, there's just so much for her to do in that room. So the one thing that they asked for was adding this wallpaper mural they really loved. So it's an animated world map which has all these beautiful, really cool um, animals on all the different continents and the countries and it's, it's just so colourful and just perfect for any kids room. So that was what we kind of worked around and that was the theme of the room. So you'll see a lot of like animal bits and bobs here and there. So we started off by painting the walls. So the, the room before was just bare. It, I don't think anyone decorated maybe in 20 years so it had yellow walls and green carpet so it was yeah <laughs> so the first thing we did was paint the walls so I chose this really cool um, grey which was just perfect with the wallpaper that we had and it was just it was just a perfect shade to bring a fresh look into the room. So after that I hung the wallpaper mural and like I said the wallpaper is just so beautiful. The colour pigmentation on the animals and the different continents is just gorgeous. I love the colours. It's not just your basic reds and orange and blue. It's beautifully printed. So I hung that and instantly that made such a big difference into the room. So just the wall been painted and the wallpaper just made an instant change. Uh, the other thing that they wanted to change was the wardrobe doors. They had these wooden wardrobe doors but they didn't want to change the whole thing at the moment so they wanted a kind of a temporary fix until maybe in the future they would change it. So I told them let's paint it and that's what we did. We painted it this gorgeous mulberry colour. Oh my god, I love this colour so much and it ties in so well with the wallpaper and the accessories that I brought in. It's just the perfect colour. It's so rich and oh, it's just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous colour. The last thing that we painted was the window sill. So they had this wooden window sill and you know, it was fine but because we wanted to create this fresh look into the room I thought it would look so much better if we painted it white. It made such a big difference to the whole room. So that's what I did at the beginning, we just painted all of that and like I said it made such a big difference just you know painting everything. The next thing that I did was I brought accessories and textures and different tones of different colours just to bring the room together even though it was already so different but I needed to bring something that ties everything together and just make it really cohesive. So the furniture chair they didn't want to change so they had the cot, they had the nursing uh, chair, that was basically what they had. The only big furniture pieces that I brought was the storage unit for all her like toys and books and so on. So I styled the room using different tones and um, I wanted to create like a little nook for Orla to play in or to read, um, just something that she can like 
play more imaginatively, like hiding and that sort of thing. So um, I brought this beautiful canopy for her. The colour is just this gorgeous pink as well. It ties in so well with everything else, but it still doesn't overpower the um, mural that was right next to it. So it just, it fits in really well. So I hung that and I just different cushions, um, different textures of cushions. Uh, just to create a little, little cosy nook for her. The nursing chair that they had, they wanted to keep, but I thought bringing a throw and a cushion, just different different textures, will really uh, give that chair a new look and, you know, they could still use it, still very um, practical. And it totally did, just adding um, that throw and cushion um, just gave it new life and made it so much more inviting and cosy. For the rest of the walls, I didn't want to add too much. The mural was very powerful in the room and I didn't want to take away from the impact that it had. But I wanted things that complemented it, so for the wall, um, over the car, it would be a really good idea to have just a few frames that we can hang with animals obviously, so it can kind of tie in with the mural. And it just really complemented the mural wall, because that wall was very bare, we had to add something. And it just looked gorgeous, those frames were just the perfect size. and. It was just the perfect way to fill that space up. So for the last area, the toy storage area, I wanted to uh, style the walls with something as well, just because I wanted to fill that um, empty wall space. And I thought, what better way than to style it with some books um, and create like a bookshelf, the toy storage area. All of the books that Orla is a bit too young for, I got them books and we just styled all the books. And thinking outside the box, you don't have to style a bookshelf with just books. So adding ornaments or little um, objects just creates a really beautiful way in styling your bookshelf. So just think outside the box and you know, instead of that just traditional bookshelf look, and just under that I added just a couple of frames to fill in that space again and to bring in so much like character and it all ties in the wall mural you know with like um, animals and adventure and just um, nature and, and that sort of thing so everything just ties in so beautifully together um, and obviously I styled that storage unit with her toys and a few books that she can reach and she can just go to that area and you know pick up her toys and her books and you know take them to maybe the chair or the the canopy and just um, you know play around and lastly they didn't want to change the carpet just yet so I thought bringing a large rug would hide that green uh, carpet um, underneath and the rug that we chose was this beautiful dusty pink uh, again ties in so beautifully with the canopy and the wall mural and the throws and just bringing so much textures and tones of different colors really makes a difference so uh, like I said even though it's a girl's room, um, we didn't want to create that really girly pink Barbie look. Um, so adding just different tones of pink really made it more sophisticated and just more fun. So it was such a fun uh, makeover to do. I love doing little kids rooms. They're always fun to do because you can play around with the colours and just bring in different um, things that you maybe wouldn't do in maybe an adult space. So um, I love Orla's reaction when she walked in. Obviously I think it was too much when she first walked in but um, seeing her just play around after that, discovering all these new bits that she had was just so beautiful um, and it really made me happy and I love, I guess I love my job because I get to see the reactions when you know people walk in uh, to a new space. So I also got the father's reaction and he was really impressed and was really happy with the way everything turned out as well. And it was such a surprise because he wasn't, um, he really didn't know much about what we were gonna do. So it was great talking to him and getting his reaction as well.
shark. See a shark? Look at it. Look. Do you like it? Do you want to go over to Dado or Lance? Should look at the picture. Okay. You coming in? <gasps> Where's Arla? Pika! Boo! Pika! Boo! Pika! Boo! 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 Are you gonna ju are you gonna reach up high? No, no. No, no. So I'm really happy with the overall uh, look of this room and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what's your favourite part in the room and if you have a kid what would they like in their room. If you're interested in a makeover let me know, either message me or leave a comment below and maybe we can um, you know, make that happen. I really love these makeovers because it's just such a fun job, you come in that one day and you just ch transform the room and I love seeing the reaction as well so if you are interested in makeover let me know um, I hope you've enjoyed this video everything that I've used I will try to link in the description bar below however I did buy a lot of my accessories from um, TK Maxx so they usually don't have a lot of their uh, items in store online but I will try to link everything that I find down below and um, Again, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would mean a lot to me. I hope you all have a lovely week. See you in my next video. Bye! Where's she going? There she is! <laughs> <laughs>